40 big spin heel flip. Just in time for lunch. And that's what we're talking about today, Cosmo. Lunch? Not exactly, but we are talking about food and where it comes from. Great! I love food! I know, Cosmo. Hi, I'm Nate McKelvey, and today we're going to talk about sustainable agriculture. I love lasagna. I like broccoli. Cucumbers. Zucchini bread. Fresh strawberries. I love food. I care about agriculture. Do, Do you? you? The way food is grown and transported to your table has a big impact on our natural resources. Being aware of the food that you're eating and where it comes from is an important step in being a good steward. I'm hungry. Me too. I'm glad we're at the grocery store. Did you ever wonder where all this stuff comes from? Did you know there are over 38,000 items in the average grocery store? Wow, imagine that many choices. And every choice you make has an impact on the environment. 90% of the vegetables consumed in the United States were grown in California alone. Did you know that much of our food travels over 1,500 miles from the farm to your table? A grapefruit from Florida and an orange from South Africa. Not local. Bananas from Costa Rica? Not local. Locally grown food will include crops or livestock that are grown close to your home, school, or business. This eggplant came all the way from Holland, and this eggplant was locally grown. Tomatoes from Canada? Tomato picked fresh from my garden. And squash from my local farmer's market. What are you doing, Cosmo? Building a food stand so I can buy local. Oh, Brother Cosmo, sustainable agriculture is important for everybody. It helps people and the environment. That sounds like serious business. Growing food locally and buying from local growers is a healthier, more sustainable option. It preserves biodiversity, reduces energy consumption, and protects water quality. It takes much less energy to eat local. Look for farmers markets and community gardens in your area. Food miles refers to the distance traveled from production to plate. The typical American meal has ingredients from over five countries. Now what are you doing, Cosmo? Calculating food miles. This apple's from New Zealand, 9,000 food miles. This apple's from Washington State, 2,800 food miles. This apple's from Pennsylvania, right down the block. Grow and buy local. Hi, I'm John Strait and I grow local. On Strait Orchards, we have 300 acres of fruits and vegetables. We grow everything from apples, peaches, grapes, pears, to peppers, sweet corn, zucchini, eggplant, a little bit of everything. Eating seasonal food means eating fresh. It's growing or buying the produce in the peak of its growing season. You can eat local food all year long, put it out in the sun and dry it. You can freeze it. You can cook it. You can make applesauce, apple pies, apple butter. I love apple cider. You can eat many fruits and vegetables year round, but if it's not in their peak season, they have to travel far distances and it requires a lot of energy. To grow and transport them over long distances requires large amounts of water and fossil fuels. That's unsustainable and there are better options. Uh, we sell everything that we grow here through our retail market and our CSA. CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. Our members sign up in the springtime. Every week we drop off a box of produce of whatever's in season. There are lots of good reasons to buy local. Food tastes better when it's fresh, it's healthier, and it supports local farmers. Finding places to buy local is not hard. You can go to the internet and just search for farm market or CSA and then type in your city. There are lots of things you can do to support sustainable agriculture. Many grocery stores carry locally made specialty items, like preserved peaches. Not only can you buy locally grown produce, but you can also find local eggs, cheese, and meat. Most grocery stores have signs and labels on their produce, so you can know whether you're buying locally, from another state, or even another country. By supporting local farmers today, you're ensuring local farms in your community tomorrow. Hey, Tara, what you got there? Well, I've got some locally grown acorns, mushrooms, and wild hickory nuts. Just in time for lunch. Be sure you make time to eat healthy. And be a good steward, too. See you next time. On Cosmo.